x is real number and 3 to the x times 5 to the x squared equal to 15. Find the value of x. So, if I rewrite our equation, it is 3 to the x times 5 to the x squared equal to 15. When we see x in the power, one useful way is to take the log from both sides. So let's do that. We take log from both sides. Then we have log 3 times 5 to the x squared equal to log 15. But the basis should be equal. We have one important rule in logarithm that if we have log a b is equal to log a plus log b. Now, if you apply it here, let's write it here log. This a, we call this a, we call this b. It is log a plus log b, which will be log 3x to the x plus log 5 to the x squared equal to log 15. Now here we have power, 3 to the power. For powers, we have another rule in logarithm, log a to the x or anything, a to the power of anything equal, or let me write a to the, for example, power of m. We can take m in front of logarithm, m log a. So if we apply it here, the power here is x. x log 3 plus this part. x squared power is x squared. x squared times log 5 equal to log 15. Here it is in terms of x, it is the degrees 2 quadratic function. But in this part, from assumption, we can find one x that satisfies. x equal to what? Works one. X one works, and we should find other x three to the one, five to the one to the two. It will be fifteen. Now here we know one root. Here should be x equal to one. So let's check. I write at first x squared log five. The next one plus x log three. And this one log 15, which will be minus, take it to left hand side, minus log 15 equal to 0. x1 is one answer. So let's consider x minus 1. We have one important rule that if x1 is one root, 1 if you want to factorize, one factor is x minus 1, memorize. It is so much important. So I want to create x squared log 5. So I place here x log 5. Now I have x log x squared log 5 minus x log 5. I want to reach x log 3. So we know one important rule that log a over b equal to log a minus log b. So let me tell you. If you pay attention to constant term, we have negative log 15. Here we have negative 1. So let's place here log 15. If I place this part, let's write plus x log 15 minus log 15. This part is exactly this part. It's okay. This part. This part. Now we should focus on this part. So here we should consider this. If you factor from x, it will be log 15 minus log 5. And if you pay attention here, a over b, a minus b. So log a minus log b, log 15 minus log 5 is log a over b, 15 over 5, which is 3. So it will be x log 3, which is this part. So 
product here is exactly this. It is equal to zero. Let's erase all these things. Now here we have two cases. One case is that x minus one equal to zero, or this part is zero x log five plus log fifteen equal to zero. From this part, if you take negative one to right hand side, x equal to one. One answer from this part. You can say x equal to so let's do that first. Some other thing. We can take log 15 to right hand side. X log 5 equal to log 15 to right hand side will be negative log 15. And then we divide both sides by log 5. X equal to negative log 15 over. I mean, let's rewrite it x equal to negative log in divide both sides by log 5 over log 5. So it is our second answer. So we found two answers for x. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification for having next videos, and like my video. If you have other solution, comment below this video. You can also solve this part with quadratic formula. Hi.